I hope I'm not ruining this video with these brows. Dang, I need to get over it, but I can't. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Katie and this is Something by Katie. And in today's video, I am playing with quite a few new makeup products, not a full face by any means. Um, but the main event is the Hourglass Holiday Palette, the Lighting Edit Sculpture Palette. It's gorgeous. This is what the inside looks like. It's a beautiful luxury palette. So if you wanna see me play around with that, as well as some new, um, other new products like uh, new mascara. Do um, you see my brows? The elephant in the room. Tried some Glossier brow products. I'm kind of lukewarm on them. But yeah, if you wanna see some of that, keep watching. Um, before we dive into the review of the Hourglass palette, I feel um, like I wanna say something. So a couple of videos ago, I had a little disclaimer at the end about uh, just general media literacy and how that relates to YouTube and parasocial relationships. But something that I really think is important to discuss in terms of money when it comes to luxury products um, or very expensive products like Hourglass. I uh, personally, I find this to be worth it to me because of a bunch of different factors. I say this because beauty bloggers or just people on the internet throw around like, oh, it's so worth it or this is totally worth the price or whatever. I think worth it is entirely subjective. What's worth it to me is not going to be worth it to you, is not going to be worth it to your sister or your mom or your cousin or your grandma. You all have different value propositions for different things in the world and you value money differently because you move around the world differently. And I just want to say that because I think this hourglass palette is worth it for me. That does not mean that it is worth it for you. So I just want to be clear about that, that although I love this product, full disclosure already, you can keep watching to see how it applies, but I really like it and I really enjoy it and I'm glad that I bought it, but do not let this review or me talking about it persuade you to buy it if you cannot afford it or, um, or if you feel like it, this piece of plastic with colored powder that I smear on my face if you're like oh my god this was $80 which like I still am like that but my point is to me this is a lot of fun I like it it's relaxing I think this is beautiful this I know this is gonna last me a long time I know myself and I will travel with this post pandemic this is stunning and it's something I've been wanting for a while. If you don't feel that same way, do not buy it. Uh, enjoy my video. I just wanted to give that little disclaimer up front that what's worth it to me might not be worth it to you. So just keep that in mind as you watch this video and any beauty video online. So thank you. Enjoy. And today I'm going to be playing with the Hourglass sculpt palette holiday collection ambient lighting edit sculpture palette Aww. and this is my poppers hi winnie winnie you want to be the star of the show give me kisses give me sweet kisses come on what can i do for you i'm playing with this new hourglass palette i finally ponied up <laughs> and by when I say finally I mean Winnie really the last three holiday seasons I've really been wanting to get the hourglass palette but it's so expensive and I shouldn't have got it this year but you know what in 2020 I'm saying fork it quite a bit because anything goes in 2020 so I can own luxury makeup products anything really does go. This is not a first impressions. I've tried it a few times. It's really good. So yeah. Wow. My eyebrows look terrible. 
So as I was saying, uh, anything goes in 2020 because I apparently think that I am the kind of person who buys luxury makeup. Side note, if you hear a little chomping, that's Winnie eating her breakfast behind us. I have a few other Hourglass products, believe it or not. Number one, I love the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have dry skin and it just works really well for me. I actually went, completely went through the mini, like travel version of this because I wanted to see if I liked it because this is super expensive. And I almost got the travel one again, but I calculated, I did some math, whatever, but I love it. Um, also, I have a miniature of the Caution Mascara. I actually got it with the palette, but I have gotten this before and I like it. A miniature of the Radiant Bronze Light, this bronzer. I also have Shattered Light Glitter Reflect Shadow in the shade. Oh, the shade is called Reflect. <laughs> I got this a couple of months ago in a boxy charm. And then last but certainly not least, I have a blush in this one. Believe it or not, is full size. It's the shade Diffused Heat. And I mentioned this in a recent video, but I got this through the boxy charm, like boxy pop-up. Um, so I got it for super cheap. I'll have to look up the price I paid and put it on the screen, but it was far below retail. And I'm gonna complain about this because you don't care, but I'm just gonna complain. I ordered the stick cream highlighter from Hourglass in that boxy pop-up and they did not send it to me, which sucks, but oh well. So like I mentioned today, <laughs> you're gonna get a bonus. This is definitely the Hourglass. Um, I'm gonna use that and provide my little, my little two cents and review. Um, but I also am gonna use some other new products. So I'm testing some new makeup today. I decided it was time to revisit Glossier. I used to 100% be a Glossier girl, okay? I was a Glossier gal, um, but I fell out of it. Remy! Oh my God. Remy, no. She spilled a glass of water on the bed. Winnie! Oh, welcome to my life. Oh, that was fun. Anyway, I used to be a Glossier gal and I fell out of it, out of using their products and I wanted to revisit it mainly because I want to try this brow flick. Uh, full disclosure, I haven't figured out how to use it yet. <laughs> so today I'm gonna use um, the boy brow, the clear boy brow. I'm gonna just go ahead and use this first. I'll let it dry and then I'll use the brow flick. This is fine. And I'm giving you my perspective based on my eyebrows and my face and my experience, but I don't really think this gel is any different or better than like the ColourPop one that's much cheaper. Just saying. And to be honest, that's I think why I fell out of love so much with Glossier, because I just felt like the products weren't as stand out as they had been hyped to be in once I started trying more makeup brands and figured out what I like. Oh God, that dog has something else. Please come save me. She is a gremlin. I'm just glad I caught her spilling that water on camera. I said this in my last video, but I've decided that this channel is going to be like a beauty vlog because it's just how I roll. Ma'am, come here. Come here. What is this? What is this? Take it. Good girl. Good girl. Back to the brow flick. I have the shade brown. Um, let's try and you'll see. I'm not so good at it. I've got to rest my elbow on the table, use a mirror, and I'm not talking.
I think this is the only like reasonable one I've done so far. So like sixth time is the charm for me anyway. I've had a, quite the learning curve with this product, but I don't know. I'm still making up my mind. <laughs> I'm not that happy with this, so we'll... I'll keep playing with it and see if I can figure it out. Anyway, I'm on a brow journey right now. And you came here for an hourglass palette, so... Yeah, sorry for your luck. I am myself. The front part of the brow just looks so bad. Because I can't be light-handed, I guess. still dark in the front but it's gonna be okay and we're just gonna have to deal with this process together sorry you have to look at these eyebrows but it looks okay from a distance I'm afraid to see what it looks like in the camera but we're going with a bold brow today, okay? Next up, we're gonna use a little bit of my uh, usual Too Faced um, concealer in vanilla. One, two, three. One, two, three. Buffing this into my skin. I do want to keep my um, complexion makeup relatively light because I don't really need a lot today. I think that goes with the vibe of Hourglass. I think this is a good sponge. This is a little, oh shoot, I forgot to use the brush. Good guard. Buffing a little here. I like the brush too. All right, next product I'm going to use is not new to me, but I am going to use this Veil Powder, this Hourglass. Feels appropriate. I'm going to use the little sponge, dip, dip the tip, as it were. I really do like this powder. It, it definitely is as good as everybody says. And I like to set everything personally because I don't want it to move underneath my mask. Next, let's dive into this sculptor palette. It was pricey, 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 but hey, what you gonna do? You're either gonna buy it or you're not. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Moda highlighting brush here that it's from a BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna go in with the first Two, I'm gonna mix the both of the finishing powders, dim light and diffused light. I'm gonna go ahead and mix those and go in. And this just, oh man, I don't even know how if it's this will pick up on camera because it's such a subtle and beautiful powder. It's very finely milled, very soft. It doesn't make your skin look powdery. In fact, I added the powder and now I'm adding more powder to make it look less powdery. It's magic, I swear. Um, also, I just, I feel self-conscious, so I need to say this again. Bear with me on the brows. I'm trying a new product and technique and I'm in, still in the middle of that learning curve. Uh, okay, so that's pretty. Next, I'm gonna use this um, Real Techniques blush brush. I'm gonna use the um, bronzer. The bronzer shade is called Natural Bronzer Light. It's pretty similar to this other hourglass bronzer that I have. By the way, this palette is the same as the minis, but that's okay, in my opinion. These products go a long way. The bronzer. 
what they look like in the pan. Now this palette is for sure a palette I would travel with because I use all, I'm gonna use all six of these pans. I have said this before, but when it comes to face palettes, there tends to be at least one of the pans that like, I'm just not gonna use for whatever reason. It's too dark, it's too light, it's not a product I like, whatever. But this Hourglass palette, the reason why I decided to pony up the 80, yes, $80 that this cost, costed, is because I've been watching for the past three seasons. And this is one that they released where I was like, oh yeah, I want it. Last year, the packaging was plastic and I just didn't feel like it was worth it. In past years, they'll either do all blushes or all of one type of powder. And this is like the full array of all of their ambient powders. So I'm excited to have it. And it's a really good combo of like two finishing powders, the strobe highlighter powder, one bronzer and two blushes. It's just a good mix. I'm gonna use um, the Mood Exposure, <laughs> Mood Exposure blush in the back of my cheekbones. That's the more mauve -y one, Mood Exposure. And this is the strobe blush so apparently it's a different type it's a shinier brush and I'm gonna put that on the apples of my cheek we go first so pretty these powders just oh my gosh I'm gonna keep raving about them I'm very glad I got it it was pricey but I've been thinking about it for a while and I waited I'm glad I waited until I did and I'm glad I got the one I got okay strobe blush now Strobe means it's shiny, like the they call the highlighter powder strobe. I definitely look glowy though. Oh, those brows. I need to shut up about the brows already. Okay. Finally, for the strobe powder in glistening strobe light, this is the highlighter. I'm excited. so pretty I love it for the eyes like I said I wanted to use this pink hourglass scattered light I'm gonna use the lunar beauty moon spell palette which I am loving the formula and how it looks wow 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 guys I am living for this hourglass palette. I just, I know I'm doing my eyeshadow, but I still am thinking about it and staring at myself. Hmm. 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 It just looks, it's hard to translate on camera. Uh, that's why I wanted to film this for sure in natural light like this, but it just looks so nice. I'm glad to have this face palette if that's not abundantly clear. Next I'm using the shade Page that like satiny I'm also using using this purple shade Sabrina And now Kiki, the dark brown, all using one brush, by the way. Okay, cool. I do want to put down, I don't know if I need this glitter glue, but I am going to put some down. This is the Too Faced glitter glue that I got as like a freebie when I purchased something a while back. Oh shit. I just put it in my eyelash. Okay. That was dumb, Katie. Like truly what is wrong with me? Why'd I do that? All right, now I'm gonna use my finger.
so pretty major pink mood wow that's so pretty on this on my whole lid i'm going to add in some brightness around it for sure that's very pretty I'm glad i did the glitter glue probably didn't need it minus the brows it's like a great face of makeup okay back in with Paige the brighter fuchsia yeah I'm glad I did that okay cool loving okay the next new product is this um, Bambi eye mascara from, is it L'Oreal? Very huge wand. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't love this mascara. I've tried it one other time. I don't know, I don't like this wand personally. I think it's a bit large. And I feel like the way that it applies, like, I get a lot of transfer. Of course, now I'm not. Like, oh, uh, maybe it also has a learning curve. I don't know. I just, on my first couple of impressions, I don't think that I'll be repurchasing this mascara. I'll let you know if I change my mind. If you were gonna buy from L'Oreal, I would say get Lash Paradise. It's really hard to do the bottom lash line. I should just stop attempting that. Now I'm gonna go with my uh, Lunar Beauty Gloss in the shade Starlight. Bootyful. What do we think? Um, I personally really like this. I like all the products I tried. I just, um, I don't think that already, like, I don't need this mascara. Oh, shit. What is with me? I have an hourglass mascara I was supposed to use. Oh, well. I hope you enjoyed watching me play around with makeup this morning using all my hourglass products minus the mascara. Um, struggle with my brows, struggle with my puppy. Hey, but that's life. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.